Now, let me discuss about the anticholinergic drugs. If you take this particular anticholinergic drugs, remember these drugs they act by blocking the muscarinic receptors and as well as nicotinic receptors. You take the cholinergic drugs, the cholinergic drugs they will show their action by stimulating the muscarinic and as well as nicotinic receptors. Whereas if you take these anticholinergic drugs, these anticholinergic drugs, right, these anticholinergic drugs, remember they block both muscarinic and nicotinic receptors right they block both muscarinic and as well as the nicotinic receptors because they are blocking the muscarinic receptors right they are called as anti muscarinic drugs right they are called as anti muscarinic drugs and now you take these particular nicotinic receptors right the nicotinic receptors like we have the nm receptors and then we have nn receptors now by blocking the nm receptors these are called as neuromuscular blocking agents right these are called as neuromuscular blocking agents whereas by blocking the nn receptors right by blocking nn receptors they are called as ganglion blockers right they are called as the ganglion blockers now now let me tell you what are the drugs in the anticholinergic system or the anticholinergic drugs we have two important natural alkaloids the two important natural alkaloids are number one atropine so the natural alkaloids which are acting or which are having the anticholinergic action one we have atropine this is one very important drug and the other important natural alkaloid is your scopolamine which is nothing but hyoscine butyl bromide okay so scopolamine okay so these are the two important natural alkaloids you take this particular atropine this atropine it is obtained from atropa belladonna right it is obtained from the atropa belladonna right and your scopolamine it is called as levohyoscine right it is called as levohyoscine these are the natural alkaloids a point that you should remember is they act as non selective antagonist now what do you mean by the word non selective antagonist these drugs they block all the muscarinic receptors that is the reason why these are considered as non selective antagonists right non selective antagonists so why are they called these drugs are called as the non selective antagonist because they block all muscarinic receptors right they block all the muscarinic receptors that is the reason why these are considered as the non selective antagonists right now now what i will do is i will tell you the actions of the anti muscarinic agents right in the sense these anti muscarinic agents they act on the various systems like you take on the central nervous system on the gat on the respiratory system let me discuss the actions of these anti muscarinic agents on the various systems now let me discuss the actions of the anti muscarinic agents so first and foremost you see the action on the central nervous system 
right the action on the central nervous system right so if you see the action on the central nervous system first and foremost like you take the action of atropine right you take the action of atropine if you see this particular atropine atropine it is a cns stimulant right it is a cns stimulant whereas you take this scopolamine scopolamine what it will do the cns is it will suppress the cns in the sense it causes cns depression right it causes cns depression now the very important multiple choice question is about your scopolamine which is nothing but the hyoscine now what is this particular scopolamine doing the scop scopolamine it is causing the cns depressant action so due to its amnesic and cns depressant action the hyoscine which is nothing but scopolamine okay so due to its amnesic and cns depressant action this particular hyoscine induces what is called as the twilight sleep right will induce right will induce the twilight sleep now now not only that it, one it will induce the twilight sleep the other thing is this particular hyoscine it is also being used as a light detector right this is a one very very important multiple choice question right used as light detector okay why because it is having amnesic effect and as well as the cns depressant action so that is the reason why it is used as the light detector or truth serum or truth serum in suspects or truth serum in suspects next you take the other use of this particular scopolamine this particular scopolamine it is available as the transdermal patch right it is available as the transdermal patch so the transdermal patch of this particular scopolamine right of this particular scopolamine this is applied behind the pinna right this is applied behind the pinna now once this is applied behind the pinna it is used for the prevention of motion sickness right used for the prevention of motion sickness that is vomiting during the travel right vomiting during the travel is nothing but your motion sickness so this particular transdermal patch application of scopolamine behind the pinna is used for the prevention of the motion sickness next next you take the central anticholinergic agents right we have certain anticholinergic agents which act within the central nervous system the central anticholinergic agents are now let me tell you some of the central anticholinergic agents the central anticholinergic agents remember the examples are number 1 benzexol which is called tri right which is called as the trihexy phenidyl okay so this particular trihexy phenidyl and which is nothing but benzexol okay next we have another very important central anticholinergic agent that is benzotropine and as well as bipiridine so benzotropine and as well as bipiridine 
these are your central anticholinergic agents these central anticholinergic agents remember these are the drug of choice for the treatment and prevention of drug induced parkinsonism right so in case of these are the drug of choice for drug induced parkinsonism right drug induced parkinsonism okay now you take in case of parkinsonism the parkinsonism will occur either because of decrease in the dopamine levels or because of increase in the acetylcholine levels now that increased acetylcholine levels within the central nervous system are neutralized by your anticholinergic drugs which are having central anticholinergic action that is trihexyphenidyl benzotropin and buperidine these are considered as the drug of choice for the prevention and treatment of drug induced parkinsonism right so let me shortly revise the cns actions you take the atropine atropine is the cns stimulant you take this particular scopolamine it will cause the cns depression which is nothing but your hyoscine now because of its amnesic effect and as well as the cns depressant action it will induce the twilight sleep the other important thing is this scopolamine it is used as lie detector or truth serum in suspects and uh, this particular scopolamine in the form of transdermal patch if it is applied behind the pinna that is used for the prevention of motion sickness and we have some central anticholinergic agents like trihexyphenidyl which is benzexol and then we have biperidin and as well as benzotropin these drugs they are considered as the drug of choice for drug induced parkinsonism